Hi, my name is Zaria Zakia. I'm 12 years old and I live in Bloomfield, Michigan. What do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I want to be an actress and a violinist. Uh, why? I want to be an actress because I think it's really cool that you can portray all these emotions and I just like how it feels when you get to be another person. And I want to be a violinist because I feel I'm really passionate about it and I just it's something I really love to do. How bad do you want to be famous? I think I want to be famous pretty bad because, I mean, just the being able for people to know who you are all around the world, it's pretty cool. Why do you have what it takes to make it in your business? I believe I have what it takes to make it in my business because I think I'm pretty demanding. Like, I won't give in as easily as others, and I think I'm really hard on myself. Um, what sets you apart from everyone else? I think what sets me apart from everyone else is my various talents. Like, I am very good in track and field, I'm good in violin, I'm good in acting. I think, like, I have a lot of talents to share. What professional singer, actor, dancer do you want to be like and why? I want to be like Beyonce because I admire how she just goes out on stage or she does a commercial and she doesn't care what anybody else thinks. She does it for herself and she really gets to, into character and I like that about her. How often do you practice your talents? Um, I practice my track and field about an hour a day. I do my violin about an hour a day. I take Skype lessons with Carl Roa and Judy Kane, that's online once a week. And I guess for violin, I add up both of them for about two hours each week with my Skype teachers. And for acting, I practice about 30, 40 minutes a day. Doing, doing what? Auditioning, like practicing for auditions I might get, or just preparing for the future. So, say, on average, a week, uh, how many hours a day do you end up doing all those things every day? I'd say, uh, I think I do about two to three hours a day practicing all that stuff. Um, what classes of teachers do you love or hate to go to and why? Um, the classes I love are Judith Teasel at Oakland University. I love that because I love playing violin with her and she's a really great teacher and she knows what she's doing and she's just really good. All right. Do you, do you dislike any of the things that you do sometimes? I don't really dislike them. I mean, sometimes they're pretty challenging and yeah, I get frustrated. Everyone does, but I just find a way to get through it and they're all very educational. So I love that about all my programs. Do you feel like you're missing out on things because you practice so much? I mean, sometimes. I mean, like there's activities that some kids in my school do that I can't go to because I'm running or practicing for a concert or I'm acting. And I just can't do it. But sometimes you have to do what you need to do rather than what you want to do. Are you popular? Uh, I don't think I'm popular. <laughs> Um, what do your friends think about your talents? Um, I don't really tell my friends about some of the things I do. I mean, most of my friends, they know that I'm an actress and that I play violin and that I run track, but I don't tell them about all my accomplishments. But I think they think I'm pretty cool. Um, list off uh, all of your accomplishments or the, the high points. There's too many high points and accomplishments in my life. Um, I say my high point in track is being the gold medalist in the 800 mile, 800 meter. Um, that's the half mile. 
and the 1500 meter, that's the near mile in my age group from Michigan, and that's pretty cool. And my high point in violin is being able to play at the Whiskey Go Go in Los Angeles, California. And my high point in acting would be being the lead role in the independent film shot here in Detroit called Maybe. And that was one of the lead actresses, and that was pretty cool. Does your mom or dad ever get upset with you? Um, sometimes, if they feel that I could do better at something. But who, who gets upset more, your mom or your dad? I think my dad gets upset more because he... What does he say? My dad says, you should try harder and do your best. Whatever a regular parent would say if they really wanted their kid to accomplish something in their life. Are you hard on yourself when it comes to practicing or performing? I think I'm pretty hard on myself. Mostly like mentally because I don't let go of something easily. Like if I can't do something, I'm going to stay to it until I get it because I'm just really determined. These are some of my medals that I won for various track races. Some of them are for the AAU, and some of them are for the USA TF. Um, the ones I like the most are the hangy ones, <laughs> the little pins. I like the gold ones. Okay. And I like this one because of the shape it's in. And I just like it. I like this one, again, for the USA TF. It's just really cool. And ooh, I also like this one because it shows the sheep line against a track. And one, two, three, where the winners stand. And I like this one because it has a timer. And I like the outside design of it. And those are just a few of my cool medals that I really like. And I'm sure you're on my room. Um, a few medals that I've won in my room. Uh, I won this when I was about six, seven. Um, I got this one at school for fifth grade when I was a fifth grader, and I was the most mileage run for the girls. And I also, so I got a nice trophy, and I got a pretty medal for their marathon award. And I have pretty antique dolls that I've gotten over the years as a kid. And that's pretty much all the accomplishments in my room. Um, oh yeah, my guitars. I used to play electric guitar. I still kind of do. I can still play. <laughs> and I have an electric and acoustic in the case. And, and my telescope that I just use to look at the stars at night, mostly in the summer, because we have really clear skies. And I just think it's pretty, so I just get my telescope out, and I've already set it up. And that's about it in my room. Uh, Zarya's track training. Um, she does um, uh, 12 miles an hour on the treadmill uh, every other day uh, for two minutes at a time. She does uh, 10 reps of that. Uh, that would be equivalent to doing a five minute mile. Uh, but she does it for two minutes, 10 times in a row. Uh, following that, uh, she'll do nine or 10 miles an hour, uh, which would be equivalent to a six minute mile. But she doesn't do it for uh, six minutes, she does it for 20 minutes for her endurance. So the, the 12 miles an hour is for her speed and power, and the 20 minute runs are for her, um, her endurance.
won't take you through the whole thing, but I just wanted to at least see uh, the treadmill that she uses. We have set up. Uh, you know, that treadmill is about two grand new. Um, but we needed one that could go fast enough for her. That's why we got this one. Most treadmills don't go fast enough for her to run. Also, there's a hill you can see in the backyard, about 30 degrees, uh, maybe 50 yards in length. She runs that uh, 20, 25 times a day. Uh, again, we have a, a very specific workout routine for her uh, to develop particular muscles and um, you know different muscle groups and, and types of muscle fibers along with some supplements and of course a lot of water uh, and then sometimes uh, she'll just run in the neighborhood four or five miles just to relax at uh, you know just a comfortable speed so uh, then she has a whole exercise routine of the sit-ups and the pull-ups and one-leg squats and all that. And, but we've developed this over the last three years so that within an hour every day she can get all her track work done uh, without having to spend, you know, two, three hours a day doing that. And it's been successful. You know, she's won the, the gold medal in the half mile and near mile uh, both of the last years. And not only did she win last year, uh, for girls uh, up to 12 years old, uh, she was 11 when she did it. So she's uh, she's something else. Okay.